Chaps, aren't they? Yeah, amazing. It is. Oh, I've seen them fly even further than that. I've seen a sugar glider go as far as 50 meters. Why do you call them sugar gliders apart from? Well, they like to eat sweet things. And they glide? Yes, they're just like those newfangled contraptions that people stick on their back and jump off cliffs with. Hang gliders? Yes, yeah, damn dangerous, if you ask me. Yeah. It's just amazing how they sort of all bunch up on a ball before they take off. Yeah. Yeah, when they land, they bring their legs forward and they seem to drop their tails just before they hit the tree. Yeah, well, they make a little parachute out of their flaps. It's just um, skin in those flaps. Skin? Yes, that's all it is, yes. Oh, isn't that amazing? Look at that. <laughs> oh, they're wonderful. So, there are my little possums. Fine little things. Ah, yes, I love them. And that's why I've come to see you. Well, now, what's your actual problem? Well, I made this film about, um, oh, ten years ago. It was a hobby of mine. And there were lots of the little fellas on my place then. Your place? Yes, well, I've got this large bush property out near Yadda Glen. I bought it when I retired from the Navy. Nice. Mmm, it's beautiful, wonderful trees. The only thing I need to make it perfect is to see my little friends again. They've gone? Well, I think so. I haven't seen them for ages. All of them? Well, I couldn't be sure. Well, that's why I was hoping you could help. Well, it's a park build. We can certainly give it a fly. Oh. Where's the sugar? Sugar? Yes, yeah, sugar. We haven't got any. Well, you better go and buy some, then. What with? Oh. <laughs> One lousy cent off. Oh. Well, we'd better go and borrow some then. Who from? By our neighbours, of course. You always borrow a cup of sugar from your neighbours, anybody knows that. Hey, Vaught, have you ever noticed this little creature on here? Isn't he cute? Sugar, plankton. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, you cute little fella. <laughs> I'd be most grateful. Well, we'll come out and see your property this afternoon. Yes, Parkfield Park. You can't miss it. Now, let me say this. Money is no problem. I'd be willing to pay you anything at all if I could just see my little flying possums on a moonlit night again. Yes, well, you can rely on us at Parkfield. Yes, I'm sure I can. Well, here's my card. Oh, thank you. Right. Toodle pip. <laughs> Toodle pip. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, I've come to borrow some sugar. How much? I'll get it. <clears throat> uh, anything interesting happening in that dungeon of yours? Uh, busy, busy. Yeah. Busy, busy. There you go. Uh, busy. busy. Uh. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Flying possum. That's right. And money is no problem. That's what he said. Yeah, well, it mightn't be for him, but it certainly is for us. But, you know, this could be our lucky break. Sir Parkfield Parkinson. Oh, sounds very impressive, yeah. Our neighbours are going out to his place this afternoon. Well, we don't have to worry about them, my boy. They don't have our know-how. You know, if we can get onto this flying possum idea, we've got it made. Is there such a thing as a flying possum, boy? Hey. Could be. I haven't seen one, not round here anyway. If there was, we could catch one. Oh, think, Plankton, think! If it was that simple, Sir Parkfield could catch one himself. Well, what do we do then? We put two and two together, and what do we get? Uh, four, I think. Possums and fly. We'll teach a possum to fly. An ordinary possum? Yes, sir. Ring tail or a bushy tail? Well, there's plenty in the park down the street. Yeah. Okay. So we catch a possum. How do we teach him to fly? Well, we do some research, Plankton, now. Let's be scientific about this. We need books on possums and books on flying, yes. Oh, no, not flying. Last time we tried that, that, that box kite. 
came down in the swamp. Uh, yes, well, don't remind me of that, Plankton. This, this is different. This is Mission Impossum Bubble. Hmm? Right? Oh, yes, it certainly is. It's very old, of course, and uh, it's getting a little bit run down. Well, I bought it when I retired from the Navy, of course. And uh, I really love it. I really do. <laughs> but the question is, why don't the sugar gliders love it, eh? That's the big question. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we're here for. Yes. Oh, I've got a little surprise for you. Oh, you've got one. Yes, this is Ozzy. Is he fully grown? Uh, she, she. Oh, yes, she's fully grown. <laughs> oh, well, if you've got one of them, you have to have more of them. Oh, unfortunately not. No, I found her on a trip interstate last year. Her mother had been hit by a car, but this little tyke was still alive, attached to the nipple. So I reared her on condensed milk through an eyedropper. Oh, she's so tame. Oh, uh, yeah, she's too tame, unfortunately. She doesn't know she's a sugar glider. She thinks she's human. <laughs> <laughs> you, you couldn't let her go, then? Unfortunately not. No, she wouldn't survive. No, she's too used to me in the house, I'm afraid. No, she's not the answer. Well, shall we have a look around? Oh, yes, of course. I'll just put Ozzy away. Oh, I can't see why sugar gliders wouldn't like it here. Mm. wonder if there are any more around. Ah, yes, I love the bush. <laughs> Mind you, Lady Parkfield prefers the English-style gardens and parks, you know. Uh -huh. So I have the grass mowed and uh, generally keep things tidy. Uh, I didn't think I could see much undergrowth in there. <laughs> oh, she didn't like it. Said it looked too scruffy. Uh. Didn't like all the old trees either. Had them taken out. <clears throat> well, I think the first thing to do is find out whether they really have disappeared. Yeah, yeah set some sort of traps or something. Oh, I wouldn't want to hurt them. Oh, no, I just meant like a little cage. Just drop on them. Oh, well, well I suppose... Maybe some... we could just use something to attract them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some sort of bait. Oh, honey is good. Oh, they love honey. Honey. <laughs> They're nocturnal, aren't they? Uh, completely, yes. They're only active at night. Well, we'll have to observe at night. We'll leave some honey out. Uh -huh. Set up an observation point. See what turns up. Mm, splendid, splendid. Anything I can do to help? Well, we'll need a spotlight to pick them in the trees. Uh-huh. Yeah, and some blankets, maybe. It's going to be a bit chilly, I reckon. Yes, could be. Uh, how soon do you uh, think you can start? Right away. We'll try for a few nights. Uh, that ought to give us a fair idea. Uh, that's wonderful. Oh, I think you might like this little patch over here. One of my favourites. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, look at this. What do you think they are? Gliders, that's what. Possums with wings. Feather-tailed glider, about the size of a mouse, blah, 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 as seen on the one-cent piece. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're a feather tail? Squirrel gliders, great gliders, fluffy gliders, sugar gliders, ah! <laughs> now we're on to something, Plankton. You see, all we have to do is to design some little wings like these membrane things here. <laughs> Blanket, sleeping bag, another uh, sleeping bag. Nah, there's nothing out there. What was that? It sounded like a possum. Ah, oh. it's, it's only me. Oh. <laughs> I thought you might like some supper. Oh, beauty. Uh, oh, Any luck? Not so far. Ah, oh, just some yeah. weird noises. Oh, well, gliders do make some noises, you know. A lot of different noises. That was a mating call. Oh, very <laughs> fetching, yes. Ever heard a glider when it's distressed? Oh. <laughs> You'd certainly hear that sort of sound, wouldn't you? <clears throat> Keep out of my territory. <laughs> one male to another. Oh, man to man. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, this one's wrong. That's when there's danger about, you know, a, a, an owl or a cat. It, oh, I hope I didn't frighten them off. Does Ozzy make those sounds? Yeah, oh, when she's in the mood, when she's in the mood. Well, I'm off to bed. Good luck. Thanks very much. Yeah, don't forget, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, 0700. Aye, aye, sir. Good night, yeah. Sir Parkfield. Good night. <laughs> There's no sign of them. What? Well, it's very suspicious if you ask me. Three days and not a sound, so what are they up to? They're probably on holiday. They're spying on us, more likely, Plankton. So, come on quickly, here is my plan. Now, here we have a sugar glider, approximately 30 centimetres in length. Oh, that's his wings, is it? A flying membrane, if you don't mind, Plankton. Just a piece of skin that he has, like a flap, that stretches from the wrists to the ankles. So he holds it out like this and then glides from tree to tree. <laughs> oh, that's clever. So he doesn't flap at all. <laughs> he just stays still with his coat open. Correct. Oh. Yeah. So uh, all we've got to do is to teach our possum to uh, glide like this. Plankton! Uh, uh. Something you just said makes an awful lot of sense. Really? Yes. If he doesn't flap his wings, then we don't need a possum at all. We don't? Poor Aloysius, I never thought of you as a test pilot. Oh, come on, Plankton. This is no time for sentimental nonsense. Now, just, just get up the ladder, will you? <laughs> oh, I could just see that dear old man with his dear old checkbook, uh, payable to Vortex Ventures for a job well done. <laughs> now, are we ready? Other issues to control ready when you are. Ready, set, go! What went wrong? Oh, balance stabilizes a model can't balance. How do you mean? But well, we need something that can ride the currents of the air. A, a live model. I suppose we'd better catch a possum after all. Oh, no, take far too long, Plankton, all those nets and traps and baits. Well, anyway, possums are nocturnal. So I'll have to get something else, the same size. Uh, not necessarily. Something with a long, bushy tail. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sure we could fix something, yeah. <laughs> what have you got in mind? Ever heard of a uh, playing possum? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, that's it. Three nights and still no sign of them. I wonder why they went away. There has to be a reason. If we could work that out, we may be able to get them back. Yeah, who are we going to ask? That sanctuary we went to last month had possums. Right, did too, yeah. Well, we'd go over and have breakfast with old Parky, then head over there. OK. All right. So this property had lots of sugar gliders before? Yes. The owner made a film of them. There seem to be plenty. Yeah, there don't seem to be many there now, though. Oh, this seems to be happening more and more. People used to have sugar gliders in their backyards in some suburbs. Yeah. What makes them go away? Oh, well, usually because the environment's changed. Oh, uh, like pollution. Oh, not necessarily. See, the vegetation has to be just right for the gliders to feed, make their nests and avoid predators. Well, there were lots of trees out there. Well, have there been any changes? Oh, really? He got rid of the undergrowth, that's all. Yeah, his wife didn't like it. Oh, well, that could be important. See, they need that understory. Particularly the black wattle. Well, well, like that one. See, without it, there's nothing to sustain them in winter. Because they feed off the gum that seeps through the bark and they scratch off the bark. Oh, I thought they didn't like sugar. Oh, they do, but natural sugar. And that's what they get from the wattle. Oh. A sugar glider nesting box. Ones like this were used to reintroduce the gliders to the bush at Tower Hill. And where did they put them? I'll nail them onto tree trunks. Well, they're just a substitute for the hollows in old trees. Well, I'll be right in thinking this is an old ammo box. Dead right. An old army ammunition box. We cut it in half. Well, you need something pretty solid. Oh, solid all right. Last 50 years with that iron roof on it. <laughs> well, check out the ventilation holes under the rim. Ah, oh, very crafty. Keep the rain out too. Yep. Anything special inside? Oh, no, nothing. They just take in whatever they need to make it comfortable. <laughs> it's a pretty small main entrance they got. Five centimetres across. No more and no less. And the ledge, well, that's just for the young ones to help them get in and out. So where did they get hold of enough sugar gliders to reintroduce to the area? Well, they trapped some in different areas and then they bred them in captivity. What, here? Yep, right here. See? Oh, gosh. Uh, and when they're released, how long before they start breeding? Well, they're released in summer when there's plenty of food around. And they mate in July. Young are born in spring, so it's within a year. How do you know they are breeding? Oh, that's easy. See, we put little tags on the ears of all the ones we release. Any glider without a tag must be a new one, born out there in the bush.
<laughs> yes, now, that should do it. One genuine hang glider marsupial. Uh, Vortex, isn't there some other way? Oh, Couldn't nonsense, we... Plankton. It's perfectly safe. Now, up. off you go. <laughs> but Vortex, how can we be sure? Oh, that... trust me, Possum. Trust me. Now, up, 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 up. Oh. <laughs> Hello, yes. <clears throat> Uh, Sir Parkfield, Parkinson speaking. Yes. What? A flying possum. Yeah. yeah. Now, I understand, Sir Parkfield, that you're prepared to pay quite handsomely. <laughs> yes. Now, if you'd just be so kind as to take a peekaboo out your window. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What the blazes? Who are you? Uh, 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 Vortex Ventures, Sir Parkfield. Uh, we um, appear to have a slight um, uh, technical hitch. We'll be in touch. Ah, there you are. Sir Parkfield. Look, um, do you know a Mr. Uh, uh, Fortox or, or Flytox or something? Possibly Vortex? Yes, that's the fella. That's yeah, it. what's he been up to? Yeah, well, he's got some contraption rigged up out there on the boundary fence. He keeps jabbering on about flying possums. Is he after money? Uh, well, yes, he did mention money. Uh, nothing to do with you, is he? Oh, no, nothing at all. Nothing oh. at all. Oh, good, I didn't think so. Well, have you got any news for me? Uh, yes, it's not good news, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. No, it uh, seems that the changes you made were too much for the gliders. Oh, really? you mean it's all my fault? Well, it's just that when you cut down the trees, you cut down their homes. And when you took away the understory, especially the wattle, you took away their food supply. They just couldn't survive here anymore. You mean they've all gone? They're finished? Well, for the time being. But if you look a bit further ahead, it's really up to you. Well, I, I don't exactly follow. What do you mean? Well, you could start by planting some black wattle. It's very fast growing. A small colony of gliders could probably be feeding off that in less than two years. Yes, but um, what about the old trees? I'm, I mean, I'll be long gone before these ones have got hollows in them. Uh, I think I can solve your accommodation problem there, Sir Parkfield. One nesting box. Deluxe model, all mod cons, ready to install. Yeah, well, uh, do you think it'll really work? It's already been done, we found out. Yeah? As soon as you get the food supply established, we could arrange for the sugar gliders to be released. Hmm. Really depends whether you want to go to all the trouble. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> what will Lady Parkville think? Well, I'll just buy her a beach house if she doesn't go along with it, eh? Oh, so you'd really like to do it? Of course I would, <laughs> yes. Listen, why don't we go into the house and celebrate with a nice hot pot of tea? <gasps> While we're there, I'm going to write out a cheque made payable to Infinity Limited for a job well done. Ah, thanks very much, Sir Parkville. <laughs> yes. And as for Mr. Um, Fortox or Flytox, or whatever his name is out there, <laughs> we'll just leave him up in the air, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 